hello students in my previous videos i have already explained you each and every stanza of the poem the road not taken by robert frost today i'll be dealing with the questions that is there at the back of your book now the first question where does the traveler find himself what problem does he face the answer will be the traveler finds himself standing at the crossroads from where the road diverged into two his problem is that he is not able to decide which road to take now the second question is discuss what these phrases mean to you the first one a yellow wood what does it mean a forest as seen in the autumn season with dried yellow leaves as you all know that in autumn the trees shed its leaves the second one <clears throat> it was grassy and wanted wear the road was full of grass because no one had trodden on it no one had walked on it the passing there to walk on a road leaves no step had trodden black no leaves had got, got crushed under any traveler's feet how way leads on to way how one road leads to another now the third question is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes them in stanza 2 and 3 the poet does not find any difference in the two roads as we have already discussed as described in stanza 2 and 3 and the second one in the last two lines of the poem in the last two lines we are told that the poet eventually chose the road which was less traveled by now the fourth question what do you think the last two lines of the poem mean looking back does the poet regret his choice or accept it now the answer of this question the last two lines contain the main idea of the poem the poet wishes to convey that once a person has taken a decision on the path he wishes to take it it becomes difficult to change the decision the choices we make in life can make our future life the poet had opted for the second road thinking that would be full of fresh opportunities that decision shaped his life and made all the differences however we are not sure whether he was happy with his decision or regretted it now question number 2 the first and second one you would have to write your own you would have to give your own opinion regarding this question that is have you ever had to make a difficult choice or do you think you will have difficult choices to make how will you make the choice for what reason the second one after you have made a choice do you always think about what might have been or do you accept the reality so these two questions children you will write your own view that's all